Friends, we're living in a world today that is absolutely saturated with evil. I mean, there's evil everywhere you look. There's evil everywhere you turn around. People uh, are are, are, are committing acts of violence. I mean, it's taking place all over the place. See what's taking place on the news, and we we, we see what's happening in our big cities, but it's happening in small towns. It's happening everywhere. Thievery, stealing, drugs, violence, uh, sexual abuse. I mean, you name it, it is taking place and there is uh, sexual sins that are taking place in abundance and there are all kinds of abominable things that are taking place and it is commonplace in the society in which we live in Hollywood uh, they glorify it in our, our, our uh, public uh, atmosphere. It glorifies it and it makes it look as though it's normal and we know it's not normal. We know that these things are abominable. We know that these things are absolutely wicked. Things that we wouldn't even talked about just a few years ago, they're taking place wide out in the open. They're being taught as norms within our school system. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on. And so what do we do about it? What can we do about it. Friends, we need to speak out about it. Now, they want to try to bully us. They want to try to uh, suppress our speech, and they want to try to shut us down and shut us up. They don't want us speaking out about it. Now, how did all of this come to be? It came through, uh, came to be with with their indoctrination uh, uh, of them continually pushing this in entertainment systems and in songs and in, in, in movies and in television programs. And, you know, it started off kind of slowly and they built their way up. And so they kept talking about it, kept talking about it. They just talking about it a little. And then they talked about it more. Then they talked about it more. And then they talked about it more. And now that's all they ever talk about. So how are we going to get rid of it? May not ever get rid of it. But how are we going to suppress it? Well, first of all, we're going to have to speak truth. And by not speaking truth, because they want to bully us into sitting down and shutting up. In fact, they want us to do more than sit down and shut up. They want to just annihilate us. They, they, they want to wipe Christianity off of the map. That is their goal. We know that because they have said that. They make no secrets about it. They very publicly, very vocally say that regularly. So we need to pay attention. We need to pay attention because they're not only ruining themselves, they're ruining our society. They're ruining the generations that are coming up behind them. They're destroying them. They're devastating them. So what do we do about it? We speak up about it. And what do we speak up about? We speak up about the truth of the word of God. We need to have a very loud, very vocal generation that says, thus saith the Lord God. These things are sin. These things are wicked. Why is it taking place in such abundance today? Yes, they're pushing their way. But we are sitting down and we are shutting up and we are being silent about these matters. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 30 says, he who compresses his lips brings evil to pass. He who compresses his lips, they bring evil to pass. When you sit down and you are silenced, whether voluntarily or whether by force, you're going, you are going to bring evil to pass. Now we know better. We know the truth. We know the truth of the word of God. And so we need to stand on the highest mountain and shout with the loudest voices and blow with the loudest trumpets. Thus saith the Lord God that is evil, that is wicked, that is abominable, that is wrong, and we will not be silenced. Now, this isn't just one subject. This is many, many subjects, all of which the Word of God covers. Friends, we need to be vocal. We need to be loud in a Christ-like loving way, but we need to allow the Word of God to be known. Thus saith the Lord God. 